Terry with Cafe Works, and today we're going to be installing the Cafe Works medium duty water pump system. This water pump system includes a one gallon per minute 35 psi diaphragm pump with a two gallon accumulator. It's shipped to you pre configured from the out port through to a check valve to a T, allowing you to connect anything from this T moving forward out to devices. The pump is 12 volts and comes with a 110 to 12 volt 3 amp power converter. Plugs into this pin connection in the back, which will also allow you to plug into any 12 volt system in a car, food truck, or just a battery system, making this a very versatile water pump system. At one gallon per minute, the medium duty water pump system from Cafe Works is suggested for pitcher rinser and home espresso machines or pitcher rinser and semi-commercial single group espresso machines. Today's configuration is going to be connecting to a pitcher rinser as well as a mini linea home espresso machine. Your kit comes with 10 feet of 3 8 inch John Gas tubing and in today's scenario, we've pre-cut pieces of that 10 feet of tubing, utilizing three feet of it to go to our water container. In this instance, we're using a seven gallon aquatainer, as well as the Cafe Works custom water pickup tubes. The water pickup tubes have a built-in check valve at the bottom of them that keeps water from draining out when you switch the tubes, thus keeping this area full of water and no air being drawn into the system during water tank changes. This is a good way to go, but you can just take and install the tube directly into your water source, such as a five gallon bottled water tank. So your water source through the 3 8 inch John Guest tubing to the end port of the water pump system. From the water pump, if the water is going to continue to travel down through the check valve, which is between the pump and the accumulator, keeping the pressure from the accumulator from being forced backwards. We leave the accumulator exiting out with a piece of 3 8 inch John Guest tubing. And depending on the length of our run, we're going to install an on off ball valve somewhere before our device is. Make sure that this ball valve is located in an area that you can reach quickly if you need to turn off the flow of water to the devices. The first device in our chain is going to be a pitcher rinser. We've pre-cut sections of tubing to demonstrate how to make that connection. So the John Guest tubing um, that you're going to be installing into the fittings seals against an O-ring. You want to make sure that your cuts of the tubing are 90 degrees and square. Otherwise, the tube, tube will leak at the fitting. You press solidly into the fitting, and you have a good seal. The next piece in our chain is going to be a 3 8 inch John Guest T, at which point we will then add another piece of tubing heading up to a check valve. What this check valve is going to do is provide a one-way direction for the water heading to the pitcher rinser. One last piece of tubing before we connect to the pitcher rinser. In today's scenario, we're installing the Rhino Coffee Gear 150 millimeter spin jet rinser. This uses 30% less water than the average pitcher rinser, and the installation is quite simple. We're going to take the tubing and install it into the John Guest tube to half inch BSP connector at the bottom of the rinser. And we're going to push that up in, until it seals. Now if you're in a low clearance situation, you can utilize this John Guest elbow fitting placed into the bottom of the, the connector on the rinser and then into the John Guest tubing. So with the rinser installed, we can now move on to the espresso machine connection. So we pre-configured a couple of parts, but mostly just in sections of tubing. So a section of tubing running the direction to your espresso machine, another 3 8 inch ball valve in the line on the way to 
the pressure regulator. This is a 30 PSI inline pressure regulator that is also a check valve or one-way valve and an inline strainer. This is going to allow the low flow pre-infusion, if your machine is capable of that, to operate well. Connect this to your water line. One more section before we go out to the espresso machine water line adapter. In this instance, we have a 3 8 inch ball type connection. It's 3 8 inch BSP or a straight pipe connection. So we provide a 3 8 inch tube to 3 8 inch BSP adapter. And then we just thread that into the end of the water line. With that completed, now we can connect the water directly to the end of the line. This would complete your installation of a pitcher rinser and the espresso machine. In the instance that your espresso machine has a compression type stainless steel hose coming off of it, we can also provide an adapter that goes from 3 8 BSP to 3 8 compression. So with all of this put together, this is a completed system. We hope this helps you understand a little bit more of what you'll need to do in installing the Cafe Works medium duty, one gallon per minute water pump system and the pitcher rinser install kit as well as the mini linea espresso machine install kit. Thanks.